guys, welcome back. Check out back to another video. In today's video, we have a little bit of business stuff going on, but a lot of personal stuff, finally. And I say finally because me and Jonathan have not had, we didn't even honestly give ourselves like time off, days <laughs> off, anything. We just kind of like been working and working and working. We're like, what is a day off? And then we just kind of sat down one day, realized we're gonna burn out. So yeah. <laughs> gave ourselves some time off. We also decided to give us a, like a dedicated personal day today as well. But obviously every single day we come to the shop, we have some business stuff to take care of. So uh, this right here is for the business, but at the same time, potentially a rebuild. This right here is a 135i N55 clean title that we picked up for only $4,500. This one actually comes with a DCT transmission as well. And I believe that some of them don't, right? Yes. Yeah, so not, not. not all N55s come Correct. with the, so that's pretty sick. So this one comes with a DCT transmission. Um, this one comes with a corset exhaust, BC coilovers, JB4, full bolt-on, etc, etc, etc. This thing honestly has so many modifications to it, which is pretty sick. And I think the damage is honestly pretty minuscule, um, especially considering that we have some of the parts already, and then we just have to get another donut car to fix the rest of it, if that's the route we're going to take on this car. So cars like this, for those of you guys who've been on the channel for a very, very long time, this ain't nothing. Uh, we Simple. literally just need to put a hood on here. Um, honestly, I want to repair this hood, but at the same time, always when you repair a hood, the Bondo ends up cracking over time because that's a moving part on the car. So unfortunately, we are going to be replacing this hood. This bumper has a minor crack here. We might end up getting that plastic welded, redone, uh, and just reuse this, mainly because the two tabs on the, the, the bumper actually is in perfect shape, which is kind of crazy. How does it rip out, yeah. but the tabs are good? So. That's a completely good reasonable bumper. Now this headlight, we're gonna use some, a lot of super glue. Uh, no, I'm kidding guys. <laughs> the headlight obviously is getting replaced. Um, so yeah, we need a new hood, need a new headlight, need a new headlight bracket. Other than that, uh, this car, oh, is keyless entry. The keys are in my pocket, which is really nice. Uh, come around over here. I don't know if you guys can see the current airbag deployed and the steering wheel airbag as well. Again, pretty nice car. I love the 135s. I know Jonathan has one. These things are just really, really, really nice cars. I know Thick Lips built a really crazy 1M style uh, 135 and it looks absolutely insane. Honestly, it's tempting. It's tempting me. Should I copy him? <laughs> no. I don't know, man. I don't we know. We don't have man. to do our own version. We have to. We have to do our own version. We have to do it. But it's such a sick build. Shout out to him for building something that's so, so, so sick. Um, so anyways, we do have this over here, clean title, um, 153,000 miles. Considering on rebuilding it, like 95% sure we're gonna rebuild it, but regardless, you're gonna be parting out the modifications on this car to get it, you know, small compliance, California compliance, and all that kind of stuff. So for those of you guys who want a bunch of modifications for your car, again, down pipes, intercooler, uh, inlets, outlets, everything. intakes, everything. Down pipe, everything, exhaust. Right? <laughs> Coil it even has coilovers on it too. Everything, everything. So we're gonna be parting out all this stuff. We are gonna be getting a donut car most likely and fixing this bad boy up, so stay tuned for that. Again, that is all business related. This video, we're not doing business related stuff. Which is a little bit. We're gonna take the car off. I wanna hear this thing. Yeah, let's uh, start it up. <laughs> let's, let's start uh, her up, get her off the trailer. This is gonna be pretty nice because this thing is theoretically, when you, when you pick up a 135, Mechanically, this is exactly where you want it when you're done with the build. You know exactly. What I mean? So it's gonna sound pretty good. Dang, bro. And uh, we need like a stick. <laughs> this is right. Really let me get the stick. Yeah. Right. Right back. All right. Yeah. This is uh, when I roll up the window, guys. I didn't really think about how we're gonna roll it back down, uh, but uh, unlock it again. Press the unlock button. It's unlocked. They're just missing the little thing right here. Yeah. Project car life, boys. So we got our Milwaukee hammer. There's a, there's a saying, I don't know if you guys ever heard of it, but there's nothing that Milwaukee can't fix. So uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy in there. There we go. There we go, see? <laughs> Milwaukee, link down in the description, 85% off. Yeah, right. <laughs> They'll never sponsor me. <laughs> I gotta lose some weight so I get these opportunities, but uh, yeah, Jonathan's gonna be able to slither in there. Look at him, he's already used to his 135. <laughs> Yeah guys, so this car, um, we actually drove three hours last night. Uh, I got home like 9 p.m. at night. It's really hard to do this personal stuff when you're constantly doing business stuff, but this car was definitely worth the money. And I hear, I'll show you guys why. Go ahead and give it that cold startup. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Not bad. All right, so we're gonna have to send it off. Uh, if you go slowly, it'll get stuck. So you need to send it. Send it. Hey, if worst comes to worst, we'll chop her up. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> we're good. Woo. She looks good, bro. 
You might need to move her over because we're gonna take the spot for the trailer. But uh, guys, this thing, I mean, I don't know what it is at 135. Look at that BC fitment. Now nah, we're gonna have to fix her. I've decided. In a split seconds, even if this thing have a check engine light, transmission malfunction, whatever the case may be, I've made the decision. We are saving this BMW. This thing is clean. All right, Jonathan, for the boys, bro, for the boys. It's got parking sensors. It's got keyless entry. Um, but look at the trim. That is, I, I actually thought it was wood, but that looks OEM? really unique. Is it OEM? It's OEM, yeah. Really? Yeah. So that's really I've crazy. I've never actually seen like a, a bluish, I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get a little closer to it, but uh, that's wild. Look at these wheels. These wheels have no curb rush. I've never I know, seen I, that's literally what I called them I've out for. I'm like, bro, that. I have never seen these wheels so clean. It got the big brake kit for the 135s and have Michelin tires on them. This one has Michelin, those have Pirelli's. Oh, but they're all good. They're all good. All right, bro, give them a few revs. All right. I didn't even, I want to hear oh, this. These wheels are mint. They are mint. They're actually in really great shape. That's crazy. I've never seen that. Guys, yeah, check that out. No curb rash. Venues, this is what I want to hear. That thing sounds good. It even says Corsa on the exhaust tips. I love it. Again, guys, Corsa Axelback exhaust. I believe he had the paperwork showing it was on $2,200 for this exhaust. That is insane. That's kind of the gist with that. We got the 135 chilling right here. Let's go ahead and back up the truck and trailer and finish with our business stuff. Hey guys, so right now uh, we did pull in the M4 CS. For those of you guys who don't know, this is my brother's car. A car that he's been waiting on for approximately eight months and uh, yeah, he's ready to drive it. And I don't know if you guys just saw, but we literally just pulled it in here. We have been driving it, as you guys can see. I don't know if you saw, I literally just saw something a little dirty right here. See, we killed the bug. <laughs> we didn't kill the engine, we killed the bug. You know what I'm saying? Long story short, uh, my brother just said, Nor. You know, sometimes in life, there's uh, there's things that are just out of your control. I was like, yeah. So we're just gonna send it. <laughs> and I was like, what do you mean? And he's like, well, you're telling me that the repair is roughly around two grand to, to six grand and potentially 10 grand if it's the crankshaft and an engine you can get for me for 5K, you said? I was like, well, 5K with yours, you know, that's the brother discount. He's like, done. <laughs> so at that point, let's run it. And if it blows, it blows, he said, get the car driving, smog the car, do brake and light, do all that stuff so he feels comfortable. He can put it under his own insurance. Currently, we have it on the business insurance. He wants to put it on his own insurance and he can't do that so we get the smog and everything else done on the car. So he literally just wants to do that for peace of mind. So he's like, if the car runs and drives, just run it. And I'm like, all right, well, if that's what you want me to do, he's technically my customer. So I said, yes, sir. No <laughs> questions asked. Uh, so uh, <laughs> that being said, uh, this car, Honestly, I've been driving, I think I put about 80 miles on it, hit the freeway, I actually banged gears up to 90 miles an hour, no issues. So I'm not sure exactly what the issue is with that crank pulley. Um, I know a lot of you guys are gonna be like, it's the uh, harmonic balancer, which is that pulley, but we did get it replaced uh, when, I, when we had it done at the shop. We had that replaced and it was still doing the exact same thing. So it's much more than that. It could be the uh, actual crank hub or it could be the actual crank shaft. That being said, the repairs start at 2,500 and can get up to 10,000. Literally just 2,500 and the next step is 10,000. So for a car like this, again, we the only difference is, actually for those of you guys who don't know, these engines are actually different than your normal M4 engine. Uh, the oil pan is 0.5 liters bigger than your traditional um, F80, F80, F82 engine. This engine is the same engine you'll find in a GTS, which is kind of crazy. The biggest difference is the oil pan. It just holds more oil. I think that just is better for the track or whatever. Yeah, so um, you don't get like the oil starvation, starvation. issue. Yeah. So uh, it is pretty sick. These oil pans are very expensive. So thankfully, you know, this one wasn't cracked. Um, it's actually, there's no leaks whatsoever on this motor. Um, so again, my brother's like, hey bro, run it, run it. If things, you know, don't go well things don't go well if things go well things go well so we can actually have fun with the car finally it's been like <laughs> literally six to eight months like literally just sitting here yeah <laughs> want to drive it we want to drive it and also somebody else really wants to drive his car it's the guy yeah. behind the camera yes sir <laughs> been uh trying to get this 135 
on my channel, I've been doing an engine swap on it, and uh, now I got to get to pass smog as well. So and we just don't have time because we're working we like time, all right? day, every day. <laughs> so, we literally, so we decided that today is the day yeah. that we're both gonna go get alignments. We're both gonna go get smogs done. We're both gonna go AC get recharge. Uh, AC recharge. We're both just gonna get both yeah. these cars dialed in uh, because we need to. We, we need don't to. Have time. We just because we time. our time. Ta we leave at six every day. We get in at nine every day. When, as soon as we leave, everything's closed, and as soon as we get here, yeah. everything is closed up until that point. So. Uh, I work six days a week, so. I work six days a week, so yeah. it's like there's no time to go do these type of things, so today's the day. We're taking today to vlog and get stuff done, so let's get this nice video going. Let's, yes, sir. So real quick, before we actually head out, I'm just going to go ahead and do a quick little oil drop to see how much uh, quartz we actually have in the engine, and then go ahead and refill it. All right, guys, so while Nor is working on the M4, we got a few orders last night. Nothing crazy, just a few little orders uh, that we're gonna go ahead and pack up right now. We got some instrument cluster, fog light, tail light, wiring harness, module, and then like a, an engine cover. So we're gonna go ahead and pack this up real quick. Nothing crazy. Yeah, let's go ahead and knock this out. after about a couple hundred miles well actually not about, about 80 miles nothing too crazy but i feel like if the crank was bent that rod bearing would be de like deteriorating itself very quickly and we will see metal fragments absolutely everywhere um looking in here right now this is fresh oil by the way guys so we actually did an oil change as soon as we got the car so the entire time it was running since we got the car this would have been the oil change of it it doesn't look bad at all. So this right here tells you how many liters of oil you actually have in here. Um, this says six liters. Actually, we're supposed to have seven liters. Yeah. So this needs to be at least six liters or higher. Or Probably higher. Top. Right? Otherwise, I don't even know. Yeah, it should go all the way to the top. But then again, we got a low oil light and we already topped it off with oil. Then we got a low oil light again. So do we just not have enough oil to begin with is the question. Let's, get tough one. Let's see how much oil. This doesn't look like much, to be honest. With it says quartz right here. It looks like it's like five quarts. I'm not gonna lie. It looks pretty low in here. It's pretty low, yeah. Right, well, let's put it in <laughs> let's, here. Let's try it. And see how many quarts of oil we got. Well, it's got about six. Okay, I'm not seeing any metal at all. Yeah, I don't really see any metal either. I don't know what you that. It, it. it honestly just could be a bent <coughs> crank hub, if it's bent. Like, again, it's wobbling. I should throw in a video right now for you guys of what we got when it was running from underneath the car, that pulley, that main pulley, that I believe is a harmonic balancer. If it just needs a crank up, that'd be great. We're obviously gonna run a little bit longer. We're not gonna push the car like crazy or anything like that. And uh, this is looking quite promising. I'm pretty sure the car ain't lying. I was wondering if the sensor was bad and we're putting too much oil. I thought we already had like eight quarts in there. So thankfully, it looks like roughly about six and a half quarts or six quarts in total yeah. with whatever that's inside the engine still with again the filter and everything so that being said let's go ahead put this oil back in the car because it only has 80 miles in it and let's go ahead and put uh another whole quart a whole quart in there m4 cs needs seven liters of oil as it shares the same oil pan as an m4 gts 0.5 liters extra capacity so seven liters let's go ahead and dump this back in there and put another how much 1.5 so liters we need another 1.5 liters let's go ahead and refill her up this is pretty nice all right, well, we got like, what, 5.3 back in here? Yeah, about 5.3. If we go a little over, you think that'd be a problem? I wouldn't go too much over. Okay, I'm gonna save some. I'm probably just gonna go like 1.6 liters. Yeah. Or 1.7 liters, and then keep 0.3, just yeah. in case. I'll probably take it with us on our drive, because Who knows? we're driving a lot today. Yeah. Let's hope to God we're not gonna need it, but... Yes, sir. 0.3 left in here. Actually, I think that was perfect. Yeah. We are officially done with our... I, the thing is, like, I realize on YouTube, guys, because we've been not doing as much videos, I've been cursing a lot lately, and like a lot of my language, I was gonna say half, I don't get half it. some so, half of a job, oil change. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're trying to cut down on cussing, bro. We, we got to, we got to. It's PG 13, y'all. Plus, no, I have a son now, so it's I going have to, down I have to, to PG. Be a we're going down to PG, not even oh, PG 13. Has to go down to PG. Has to go down to PG. Oh, my son could be watching this in like two years. Yeah. Too. So you can, you guys, can say dang and heck and oh man freak freak oh man say, noodles yeah for noodle donuts oh man 
We're trying to cut down on the cussing, guys, so everybody can watch, even kids. So. Hey, so if you guys want your kids to watch our video, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it out, bro. So. <laughs> All right, so that's that. Uh, let's go ahead and get her down and uh, let's go out for a drive. Yes, sir. Are you ready? I hope everything goes smooth, bro. <laughs> Hopefully, we make it there in one piece. Hopefully, man. <laughs> Guys, we just made it down to ProTech. We're getting both the 135 and the M4 CS uh, fresh alignment, suspension checkup, and an AC recharge. Literally, we're doing the exact same stuff today. Uh, so yeah, hopefully that all goes according to plan. We also have our coding stuff. We're about to actually help them code a Supra. Uh, this is gonna be a separate service we're gonna be offering here pretty soon at Natty Auto Parts. We'll keep you guys in the loop here pretty soon. So guys, we have the Supra pulled up. We're about to just do a little quick code job for these cars. Um, any like newer BMW, like the uh, 2020 CS and this car, all the headlights, like the modules are like VIN synced or something like that. So where they need to get coded to the car for it to actually work, they work, but they need to get coded to the car to actually like for the ECU, I guess, to recognize and whatnot. Just some extra stuff BMW decided to throw in there. To, I guess charge people to do it. Toyota. People that actually <laughs> charges, they can do that. You know, yeah. if you take it, they'll, they'll charge you with an arm and a leg. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, we, we do offer that service. Again, we're coming here soon. We're actually gonna go ahead and knock it off for this customer. So that's pretty sick that we're getting it. You know, we're getting our car worked on, but they're also working on their cars yeah. at the same time. So it's pretty sick. It worked out. Alright guys, so I have Evan here on the line. He's actually the one that's actually remote coding this car right now. And uh, long story short, this car actually had a new headlight installed and a used headlight installed. Uh, it turns out the used headlights are a lot easier to code into the car. You can literally do it without having to reflash anything. Uh, but unfortunately, the new ones, we had to reflash it. Uh, this car had a bad battery, so we had to swap out the battery, the cable, and then now we're able to flash the new headlight. But everything so far is going according to plan, and hopefully this car is going to have functioning headlights. So as you guys can see, the headlights are working. They look so, so, so good. <laughs> Trying to mess up his car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yep, yep. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So now that we're back, thankfully the alignment on the 135 and the M4 CS, they both actually got an AC recharge as well. All that went according to plan. Uh, your 135 actually, we were missing one of the gaskets on the I AC. Was, and it was, it was like, poosh, yeah, it was like, oh man, no. Over. So uh, thankfully it was an easy fix. It wasn't anything major. And his AC blows super cold and my AC blows super cold. So what's kind of crazy is that I've always used honestly the cans to refill the AC in all my cars. And I always thought that blew pretty cold, but I never really realized using that big machine at the shop, paying that extra big dollar for an AC proper recharge, that thing bros ice cold on the first setting, which is kind of insane. So for those of you guys who want some cold AC, make sure you actually go to our legitimate shop that actually has the big AC machine and get yourself an AC recharge there, especially if it's a car you're keeping, not flipping because uh, man, it makes all of a difference. Really but anyways, is. that being said, hopefully in the next video, me and Jonathan are gonna go ahead and go do smog on our cars. Hopefully both of those cars pass smog so they can both be legal on the roads. My brother's car also needs uh, VIN verification, headlight, and brakes. So hopefully we get that stuff done also in the next video. So fingers crossed all that goes according to plan and fingers cross nothing happens to either one of those cars before then because we need to get them registered and insured and all that good stuff and it'll be great if we can get all that stuff done asap so without further ado guys that's going to go ahead and conclude this video i love y'all so much remember to stay humble i'll see you on the next one peace out